Hello and welcome in the second video on rotation in Unity, so Quaternions part 2. I'm Peter and this is Sunny Valley Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial we are going to talk about remaining methods of Quaternion class, mainly Angle, Euler, From to Rotation and Identity. So let's get to it. Okay, another method from Quaternion class is Angle. And Angle takes two quaternions A and B and returns the angle in degrees between those two rotations. So remember that quaternion is rotation. So we provide two rotations and we get a, an angle in degrees. What is the difference in those two rotations? And honestly, I had trouble using this method in any way, but I came with an example. So let's see it. Okay, so this time we have first person controller and if we close, uh, we, if we are close to the robot, we can see the difference in rotation. Remember that we are looking at the same, uh, rot in the same uh, direction as the robot, so the difference in rotation is really small. Now if we get closer to it, it will suddenly rotate towards us and this is the usage I have found for it. So we can check the difference in rotation uh, between uh, our rotation and the robot's rotation. And if we come to close, the robot has detected us and he will rotate towards us. Let's see the code. So the code is pretty simple. Uh, we are first checking the distance between our position, so the position of our first person controller and uh, the robot's position. And this is the site range value, a float value. We calculate the angle using quaternion.angle and we provide the transform rotation and target rotation. Now this value is between 0 and 180 degrees, but when 0 is when we are both looking at the same direction and 180 degrees when we are both looking at each other. And we are just checking if the angle is greater than 120 and remember that uh, the bigger the angle the more we are looking towards each other. Uh, so the more uh, the if the angle is bigger than 120, the robot will turn to face us. And if the angle is uh, lesser than that, we will uh, print the angle. One more important aspect of quaternion that angle is that it is affected by all uh, the rotation that you apply to the cube or to the anything that you, add, uh, you are measuring the angle between. If we rotate it on different axes, the angle changes. So it's not only on Y axis as we have in our example. And this might be problematic if you have your rotation uh, and you are lower on higher and you're looking in different direction, uh, not in the straight line. So please do keep in mind because you can see that the values are changing drastically and there is no clear uh, threshold that you can set for the detection. Now let's look at quaternion.euler. This function allows us to turn a float variable into a rotation on a given axis. So we can provide an x or y on z rotation in degrees and it will be returned as quaternion and we can apply this quaternion onto a game object. Let's see the example. So the simplest example is just making a box rotate around its, uh, its own axis. So we can see that the box is rotating constantly and we can increase the speed, let's say to 50, and it will just keep on rotating. And the code responsible for this behavior is just a simple update by providing a y rotation angle which is a float variable uh, that is just time dot delta time uh, multiplied by rotation speed and we constantly add to the uh, y rotation angle and we apply transform dot rotation as quaternion dot euler and we provide y rotation angle as y input you want to turn a value into a quaternion using this Euler angle and not really read Euler angles. 
So this means we simply want to always rely on reading quaternions and if we want to turn a, an angle in degrees we want to use quaternion Euler and turn the degrees into quaternion rotation. Next we are going to look at from to rotation, a one of the more interesting methods in quaternion class. Uh, the description is it creates a rotation which rotates from direction to direction. And what does it mean exactly? Let's see on the example. In this example we have a cube in the terrain and the cube is rotated. So imagine you have some part of terrain that is a mountain of some sort and you want to place your uh, object or your person or your building or even rotate your tank when it drives onto the mountain. It doesn't stand like the robot. It is rotated so it, it stands on the mountain actually. So let's try it out. Let's see. I'm going to click on the mountain and you can see that our robot is now perpendicular to the face of our cube so, or the simulated mountain. And that's what from to rotation does. And let's see the code. So the code is pretty, pretty simple. We detect the mouse input and we raycast onto this point. And if we hit something, we move our transform to this position and rotate it to face, uh, to make the transform that up, so the y axis of our robot, to have the same rotation as our hit dot normal, so the normal of our cube's face. So basically, we make the y axis parallel with the hit dot normal. This makes our robot to rotate and look like he's standing on the cube. And last, but uh, probably most used, is quaternion.identity method. And this basically sets rotation to no rotation, so maybe resets the rotation. And you usually have it when you create instantiate an object. So let's see the example. We will instantiate our cube with the quaternion.identity as its rotation. So its rotation is the basic no rotation. And let's see the code. The code is pretty simple. Just instantiate, target the game object, hit it at point, and quaternion that identity. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this short series on quaternions in Unity. We went through look rotation, angle, Euler, slurp, from rotation, and identity methods of the quaternion class with some examples you, so you have better understanding how to use quaternions in your own projects. I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something from this quick series on Unity Rotation. If you did, please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and if you feel like it, please support me on Patreon. Thank you guys for watching, goodbye!